that the Michigan Tax Tribunal has been in the headlines a lot. Their decisions impact community businesses and you. Now recently, Marquette County has been dealing with the Michigan Tax Tribunal, and tonight they held an informational session to let the public know how it could affect them. The TV6's Blair Caldwell was there and joins us now with more. Blair? Yeah, tonight the Peter White Public Library held a panel discussion with a property assessor, Marquette Township, County, and state officials to simplify the issue. They discussed how they, ask, how they assess big box stores, how the tax tribunal decision will impact Marquette County and entities, and a potential legislative fix. <laughs> The community room at the Peter White Public Library was packed tonight with some passionate community members. I am just here to make sure that uh, the needs of our community are defended and protected from uh, interests that don't really have our community at mind. The tax tribunal ruled that stores should be taxed as if they are dark and vacant. Because of that ruling, the township, along with other market entities like the library and county, will have to pay back $1.3 million as early as next week. The tax money will be refunded to 12 businesses going back three years. The impact, should all commercial business in Marquette Township use the same loophole, will be $1.8 million per year just from the commercial district in Marquette Township. That's the impact to Marquette County. Multiply that across the state and tell me what kind of impact we're going to see. In order to avoid that, they discussed the plan to create a legislative fix. On the panel tonight to discuss the issue was Chief of Staff for Senator Tom Casperson and Representative John Kivala. Our goal is to introduce a package that we know and we're confident it's constitutional and we can get it through to fix this. I feel we have one big bite left at the apple to try to fix this and we want to make sure it's right. He believes their package of bills will be introduced in both the House and the Senate and says it's a bit premature, but they hope to present it in about six weeks. Community members were also able to ask questions to the panelists ranging from topics of retroactive taxes all the way to the governor's stance. The whole goal, I think, for tonight is more educational for the folks here to let them know um, what some of the myths are and, and what some of the facts are and what they can possibly do to help us. Representative Kivla told me that they will need help relaying the message downstate to show the impact here in the Marquette area. Tonight's event was well attended and they hope that it will walk away with better understanding of the issue. Clearly an ongoing issue that right. affects a lot of people. Yes, a lot of people showed up tonight and wanting to just learn more about this big issue. Yeah, it's complicated too and it means a lot of changes. We've already seen cuts to the library hours, so. Yeah. No doubt. All right, thank you so much, Blair. Yep.